Achieving and sustaining remission for Crohn's disease patients is a challenging goal, particularly if first-line therapies lose effectiveness or in the case of exclusive enteral nutrition, they are difficult to adhere to. But a clinically proven breakthrough has arrived. The Crohn's disease exclusion diet with partial enteral nutrition. This was the focus of the first expert training day, led by the team that developed the diet, enabling 40 healthcare professionals from Europe and the Middle East to become certified experts in the first and only clinical proven dietary approach to sustain remission. This is a landmark day because this is the day for me that the diet becomes global, that it becomes accessible to patients and physicians around the globe. This training is for a pediatrician, adults, gastroenterologists, and also dietitians. So this new diet approach is the go-to therapy now for three quarters of our patients where from mild to moderate and maybe only the extremely severe one would go for medical therapy first off but even there there's a role for diet therapy. I would consider this as a breakthrough because Parents, families, patients are asking for how to change their diet habits, which regimen would be the best one, and now we have solid data that we can introduce into clinical practice. The novel dietary approach, data for which was presented at the 2019 ECHO Congress, has been carefully developed. The essence of the diet is to exclude dietary components that seem to be harmful for those patients. For instance, we have animal fat, we have gluten, we have emulsifiers. On the other hand, the diet is also about including dietary components that seem to be beneficial for those patients, which include sources of fiber, sources of resisting starch, and also a high quality of protein product. In order to create a balanced nutritional diet, we also supplied patients with modulin. In the clinical trial, we had stellar results. Uh, we had clinical remission that was beyond our expectations, 80% uh, clinical remission using the common cutoffs or 73% using a different uh, definition of remission. We had a, si a significant reduction in inflammation, which is very important to show that this therapy actually treats the disease and not the symptoms. And we've shown that it changes the composition of the microbiota, the commensal gut bacteria, in a way that's more similar to healthy individuals which is very different from exclusive enteral nutrition, which does not sustain that change. Inflammation is triggered by the microbes in the intestinal tract in Crohn's disease, and the food that the patients take in impact on the composition of the bacteria. Well, the evidence behind the use of CDD is very strong now. We have a conclusive trial that shows that you can use this diet approach to get into remission by week six and maintain that remission by week 12 with the use of CDD which is much better tolerated than the previous approach with exclusive nutrition. And we have evidence that there's use of diet to salvage people who have lost response to medical therapy and then can then regain response to that medical therapy in combination with diet. Wider potential applications for the diet were also highlighted. I think it's a new uh, path to treat Crohn's disease, but uh, from a personal practice we need more data in adults and also data in uh, about endoscopic lesions. Partial enteral nutrition has a key role in the diet's phased implementation. We have the first phase which includes 50% of modulin in it. Then the patients will move on to the second phase which reduces the amount of modulin to 25%. Patients who finish those 12 weeks and in remission can go over to the maintenance phase, which include again 25% of their energy requirements for modulin. The Modulife program trains and certifies healthcare professionals in the dietary approach and guides patients through each phase successfully. The Modulife program allows patients to have connection, direct connections with the healthcare providers. They can add a lot of tools to use it, they can have recipes and they are provided with meal plans that they can use and also they can send the intake to the healthcare provider as well and to stay in touch with them directly. Experts engaged enthusiastically with the diet and the Modulife program. The Modulife uh, program uh, could allow us to stay longer in a maintained uh, period. So I think it's uh, one of the stronger or the strongest uh, points of this uh, therapy. 
because it's more easy to follow a diet, a, a, a normal diet. Uh, if, we understood, if we understand by normal, you can, food, uh, you can eat food and different, different kind of foods. So this is a great advance uh, for our patients. And as this tool is considered as a maintenance treatment, this, I hope this will help our patients to prevent them to be using biologics or for, uh, failing uh, drugs in, in the next future. And the most important environmental uh, uh, issue is the diet, I think. And we were using, since uh, very many years, exclusive enter nutrition. And this is a new approach that I think is m much more easy to, to perform in children. One of the important things about this diet that you, everybody has to remember, especially physicians, is that it has zero side effects. Having the CDD available changes the dynamic between how we deal with children and the families by offering something that they like and that works. Positive changes now look possible. I think we have multiple goals with this therapy. The first is to address the environmental triggers that are driving the disease. We can't just treat the inflammation, we have to treat the cause for the inflammation. But the second thing is this opens the option of changing the way we treat patients. We could reduce the amount of drugs that have side effects and so on the patients. Some patients might not need drugs with dietary therapy. Music